So the sun's slowly starting to rise on another Bay of Ab morning. I'm sure as with uh, lots of you, it's quite chilly here as it is in most of your places. And the start of week 10 of what's been a very long term of Bay of Ab at home. But without any further ado, we're going to hand straight over to Noel Chibessa, who has been playing and practicing on his guitar, and he's going to share that with us first thing this morning. Over to you, Noel. We're going to be playing Andante for you as our music piece. Okay, thanks very much for that note. It's always good to start the week off with some music and well done for practicing and for sharing that with us this morning. So some of you may be wondering why I'm wearing this. It's not a late entry for this week's photo competition. It's more to sort of share with you something that's coming up on Friday. So this coming Friday, our year 13 students are going to be graduating and we're going to be having the ceremony at school, be a driving graduation where they're going to drive onto the field and we're going to celebrate their time at Bayabab and wish them best as they head off to university. Now unfortunately, we can't have everybody with us, so it's only for Year 13 students, but don't worry, you'll have a chance to be part of it, because we're going to share it on our Facebook page, and we're going to live stream it so you can be part of the proceedings. And from your homes, or wherever you may be, you can wish the students all the very best and give rounds of applause. So do tune in, 2 o'clock on Friday afternoon, and uh, share with us as we celebrate the times of our students in the school. Right. Let's get on with today then. So very next we're going to hand over to one of our house captains who's going to share with us this week's Merit Award winner. Hi guys, I'm here to announce that Timo Cordolfa has received his Head of Secondary Award, which is 100 Merits. Well done Timo and thank you for working so hard. Thank you Teresa for that. Um, only one this week, but a lot of you are very, very close to the next stage of your Merit Awards. And I would say that between now and the end of term, an awful lot of you are going to make sure you get that bronze or the silver or the gold or even the head of secondary that you're so close to. So keep working hard, guys, and let's see if we can reach those milestones before the end of term. Speaking of awards, we've now got a number of AR awards and one very, very special award for a young man. So we're going to hear about our AR awards now. Good morning, everybody. I'm very pleased to announce the reading awards for this week. The first award we have is the Advanced Reader 2 Award for Tanvi Patel. Uh, well done. I also have a Star Reader 3 award for Panayota Spano. And Panayota has also become our latest word millionaire, having read in excess of 1.6 million words. Congratulations, this is a fantastic achievement. Our next award is also very special. It doesn't happen often that a student has received every possible award which is offered in the Accelerated Reader program, and then continues to read. But this is the case, and Abdullah Omar has now received the Proficiency Reader Award. He has accumulated uh, 200 points and achieved an 86% accuracy overall on the quizzes that he's taken. This is a really, really, really fantastic achievement well done. We spoke earlier about our Facebook page and if you've been following it, you would have seen last week that we shared some very, very exciting news about a group of our students who've been involved in this year's CFO Awards. And I'm not gonna to say too much more about it, but I'm gonna hand over to them. They've got a little video clip that's gonna share with them the exciting news about their progress in that, this year's competition. So over to our CFO students. In 2018, we qualified with one team, Team Great Empire in the CFO Business Case Study Competition. Again in 2020, during the school's lockdown, Baobab has qualified with two teams 
among the top 15 teams that have been selected out of 560 teams from 130 schools in Africa. Team Big Tree and Team Vision give us more information. For the CFO competition, we had to compile a BP report based on a case study with a number of scenarios. Each member got to do two case studies and then we put them together into one cohesive unit. So when it came down to doing our work and eventually completing it, there were many things that we did right. Two of which being our understanding of the work that we're doing, which made it easier for us to write our report, and our collaborative teamwork that allowed us to produce the quality of work that we ended up with. During the course of the CFO competition, we faced a few challenges as well. Taking the videos from home was a setback because we didn't get the quality or the precision the judges required. Nevertheless, we managed to pull through successfully. The CFO case study competition has given us all newfound knowledge and this knowledge will be extremely useful for us, especially next year in year 11 as we're writing our IGCSE exams. And the competition has also taught us how to apply this newfound knowledge in real life scenarios. And if you want to own a business or become entrepreneurs in the future, it will be very helpful for us. All in all, it's been a wonderful experience mentoring and supporting these guys. And it's great to see the late nights and the hard work pay off. We'd like to thank Mr. Chitanda and Chisha for guiding us and for helping us to qualify for the top 15. We are the Zambian CFO champions. It's a huge thank you and congratulations to our CFO students. Both teams in the top 15 is an outstanding achievement and we look forward to progress and see how much further you go and wish you all the very best as you continue going through that competition. Well done guys, very, very proud of you. Good morning guys. Over the course of the online learning, the art students have done some amazing artworks. Now we are going to share some of them with you. This is for the busted heart. This is for the question marks. This is for the outcast so lost control, no one knows Sing it for the can't go back Sing it for the broken past Sing it for the just found out Life is now upside down fancy dress so we're just gonna have a look at the winners from last week's photo competitions I'm excited there's some cracking photos in here this is for the busted heart this is for the question marks this is for the outcast so lost control no one knows Sing it for the can't go back Sing it for the broken past Sing it for the just found out Life is now upside down Last week's photo competition. What have we got coming up this week? 
Well, this week, due to a demand from a, a few students raised the idea, and I think it's a really, really good one, is we don't have a theme this week. So it's completely open, and it's a chance for you to show off your photographic talents. To try and capture an image or something's entirely up to you, and then get your entries in by Thursday. And I'm really looking forward to seeing your creativity in this week's photo competition. And that brings us to an end to this week's assembly. Big thank you to everybody who's, who's taken part or whose work has been involved in, in this week's. It's been really interesting to see yet more stuff of what you're getting up to and, and how you're working. Keep the, the hard work going, guys. Stay safe. And most importantly, apparently it's getting cold, but I don't believe it. But do stay warm, guys, and we look forward to seeing you all again soon. Have a great week.